Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can read PDF file in a browser using PHP. And in front of me I have a directory called YouTube and I just have one file which is a PDF file which is called uh, proposal.pdf and so what I'm going to show you is how you can read this proposal.pdf file in your browser using PHP. And if you are new to this channel, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps. And please like and hit the, hit the notification bell so that you may not miss my new videos. So the first thing that you need to do in your directory, whichever it is, First, I'll save yeah, and this file as read pdf.php and I'll open the PHP tags. And the first thing that I'll, I'll create is the file name, a variable called file name. You can call any call it any name that you want. And this file name will hold the direct to the path to where your pro your PDF file is stored. Uh, in my case, uh, my PDF file is there in the current working directory, which so I, which I'll say just proposal dot PDF. If you as is in, in another directory, or how to read any another path, maybe you can say something like this, blah 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 and stuff. But for me, I'll just do it that way. And the first thing that I'll do is give headers to my to my file, to my file. So the first header I'll create is the content type, and as you can see, my my text editor, which is Visual Studio Code, has a, an auto completion. So I'll just click tab, and then I'll create the next header, which the next header will be the content disposition. I'll say content disposition this one i won't do an auto complete because there's there are some things that i need to change here so i'll say content disco disposition is equals to inline and i'll terminate using a semicolon and i'll say file name i'll, I'll give it the path these are uh, file name here so i'll just give it a double quotes and then a single quote and then concatenate the file name in, inside the inside the quote. So the next thing that the I'll do is create another header and I'll give it a content transfer. Sorry, content transfer encoding and I'll make it to binary. Don't worry, guys. I'll also leave uh, this source code in the description. The link to this source code in the description. It will take you directly to my GitHub. So, and then the last thing that I need to do is uh, in the in the header is I'll give an access range. It's called access accept accept ranges. Sorry, accept ranges. And I'll say each bytes. So and then then the last thing, the final thing, guys, that you need to do is you'll say add read file, and then you give it the file name, which is our variable here, which is dollar sign file, name. and then terminate. And then with this now, you can go to to your browser, and then you can run your file and see how it looks so in my case i'll say localhost i'm running on port 8080 and i'll give it the director which is youtube and then file the each it's read pdf.php like this and when i click enter and as you can see it's reading the pdf file and that's all thank you guys for watching if you love my videos don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.